Hi, it's me, Dr. Lee, and thank you for joining me. We're talking about the manifestation of God. I am calling this one the guide. The guide. I want to talk about the manifestation of God. I am expecting God to show up and show out in my life like never before. I'm expecting him to blow my socks off like only he can do. I want to share a couple of things that happened to me and it made me think about a certain Bible verse and this um, Bible verse I'm going to use this week. But, and I'm going to focus on this Bible verse and I was sitting in my vehicle and I was waiting for someone to come out and I lay back in my vehicle and when I did, I was looking at my phone or reading something. I don't, you know, remember um what exactly I was doing. And while I was on my phone, like whatever I was looking at reading, just like out of nowhere, the thought in my mind come like somebody hit my vehicle, like just like hit my vehicle. And I was like, you know, okay, we know whatever. I'm 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 covered. I'm cool. You know, you know God got this. Nothing I can you know basically do uh uh about it and i'm not gonna worry that's the last thing because first thing that come to mind is like worry but i'm like oh no you know i'm gonna remain at peace however and just let you know whatever just you know i'm in god's hand and so when i have i have this thought i got it out of my mind and i promise you it was like it may have been like 10 seconds 20 seconds some said boom hit my vehicle and i was like okay did that really just happen? <laughs> because it's like, as soon as I thought the idea of somebody hitting my vehicle, and that's not something I just typical, like, typically think about, you know? <laughs> it just came out of nowhere that my vehicle would get hit. And I got in my vehicle, and like I've been telling you, I've been trying my best to grow in remaining, like, remaining at peace, you no, know, keeping my mind focused on the Lord. And when I got out my vehicle, the lady had opened her door and hit the side of my vehicle and it left a mark and everything. But I'm, you know, so like, okay, you know, she was older and she had another older lady with her. And I was like, okay, you know, no big deal. It's a tiny mark. I'm not going to, you know, trip no big deal. It's materialistic or whatever. And she like had a finger like kind of rubbing the mark. I don't think she actually knew I was in the vehicle. I think I kind of shocked her when I jumped out the vehicle. And Instead of her saying, you know, I'm sorry or, or whatever, you know, my bad, da, 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 she looks at me and she says, you read that? It can come off? And I was like, mm, I doubt it, but, you know, I said, don't don't worry about it. And then she looked at me and then she says to me, they didn't make any parking spaces bigger. And when she said that, I'm looking like, okay, you still not say, you know, I'm sorry or, you know, taking the the you know said the blame she's blaming now that she hit my vehicle because the parking uh, spaces was, were so tiny but in reality these were the biggest parking space i have seen in a long time i mean they were like bigger than some of the super center parking uh, spaces that i mean like you could park a big truck and they still have room a big suv and you have plenty of room that's how like for the parking space where and then on top of that i actually parked down farther not by the crowd because i know i was be sitting in the um, vehicle and let somebody else have the closer spots or whatever but it was just interesting how all that happened but i didn't let it disturb my peace but it put me in deep thought about how just out the blue when i lie back thinking about somebody hit my vehicle in less than you know five or ten seconds boom someone hit my vehicle you know and it was like okay but with that that seems like to be like currently um that's like happening like a lot like i can think something or and it happened or show other person show up or you know or i can you know think about let, let me grab this and okay i'm gonna grab this not really sure why i'm grabbing it and then you know an hour later somebody need that item or just like stuff like that and you know, stuff like that happens, but when it happened a lot, you know, it makes me start like the one, okay, you know, what's really, you know, really going on here, Lord? Am I, you know, 
how am I supposed to take this? What am I supposed to be doing this? How am I supposed to um to be growing in this? What do you want me to learn from um from this? So like from the um the the bumping of my vehicle to like just simple. I was walking in a store and I saw I thought I saw this person. And I looked at it and I said, okay, that's not that person. But the person just, I just felt the person had no presence. How the, but it wasn't the person. But lo and behold, five seconds down from where I walked, the person was actually there. And I was like, you know, I just thought I, you know, thought I saw you. You know, the person just popped in my spirit. I thought this other person was that person, but they weren't. But five seconds, you know, when I walked like five seconds up the aisle, I ran into the person. And, but then the same day, it was like, you know, the same thing happened. I thought of someone, you know, and when I thought of that person, the person appeared. And it was like, just like, that's like been constantly happening that you can think something and then it happens. And I don't have all the answers, you know. I don't, you know, I, I'm the one to tell you I'm not all that deep and I don't claim to be all that deep. And I let people know quick that my degrees are in education, not in like um anything like religious or religion, however. But I do love the Lord. So with that, I want to um to share that how just it's been stronger. Like it always happened, but sometimes it happened stronger, more. Like it can be happen two or three times in a day, or it can happen several times. You know, it can happen. You know. I mean, if it happens once a week, you think someone that show up, that's, you know, that's cool. But whenever it starts to happen in my life, like strongly, it makes me want, okay, God, you know, what am I supposed to be, you know, learning? What am I supposed to be getting out of this? You know, why is this happening? So, you know, is it, you know, me thinking that it's happening or is it you putting something in my mind, my, my mind, my mind and my spirit and, you know, preparing me for it however. But with that, I had to, um, I, it was an item that I, want to buy nothing important but i was like okay i'm gonna go to this particular store to go and get this item but it's not a store that i typically go go in i may have been in this store probably can count on one hand maybe two hands probably one hand and i was like okay i'm gonna go into this um this store and i was like no i'll wait later i do you know it's because it wasn't important and but i i went ahead and went to the um the store and when I went to this store, you know, sometimes like I, I have, I get to think like, okay, God, maybe it's a reason. It's so strong for me to go to this store and it's not a store that I typically go to because, you know, you may have, a, you know, a something I'm looking for, a good price or a, a bargain. Or maybe I need to pray for someone. Maybe someone need to pray for me. Maybe I need to bless someone. They blessed me. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and go. So when I went to the store, I went to the store. It was just interesting. It was, um. Uh, a young uh, young lady out there and they were doing something under a tent and whenever I pulled up she just kind of watched me and looked at me and I parked far off because I was trying to park by the stuff that I need to, to, to look at and see so I parked kind of far off and when I started walking like close up to them like not to them but close closer up where you know I was a little bit closer and she just stopped and she was just staring at me and I was like okay I could see her staring and so then that's when she um she looks at me and she yells over to me. She was like, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. It was kind of funny, kind of hilarious because, you know, I, you know, looking in the mirror, I'm like, okay, I don't know what, you know, what she said because how, you know, how I was dressed. I had like big clothes on, big white t-shirt, you know, probably spots. You know how you dress like you're going to like clean up something? That's how I was dressed, like big, like baggy jogging pants and but I don't know what, you know, what she saw. But she just, you know, like said, staring at me. And so she looked at me again. She was like, you're beautiful. And she was yelling this at me because I wasn't really close to her. But I was close enough. And so I was like, well, thank you. And so I went on into the store. And then when I come out of the store, she looked at me again. And she yelled at me. You know, it was just, I don't know. It was like she was something, she was like captivated with something now you know it was kind of like funny to me because like okay i hear her saying that i'm um, beautiful but i'm like me and me thinking i'm like okay she probably talking about maybe my spirit you know that's what i like to to say more than like you know something um, physical but maybe she know maybe she doesn't know but she would just i don't know the way she just like like just there like i don't know what she was like 
feeling or seeing however. So when I came out, she was sitting again. She just stared at me. And it's like other customers coming in out, but she, you know, she wasn't telling them from what I can hear, like, you know, you're beautiful, da da. And so she um she said you're beautiful. So I watched her and talked to him just a little bit. And when I talked to her, um, she had a beautiful spirit. She told me her story and da da da. And she told me about her Egypt and how, you know, she can't be in be in her hometown and da 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 and all this good stuff. And so at the end of it she said that she um she asked me um if she could pray with me. And I was like, sure. And she said this beautiful prayer. She prayed that, you know, I um be a bright light in this dark world. And it's kinda, you know, interesting because you hear me pray that a lot on these um YouTube videos and Oh, it was just so touching the saying it was so touching and she you know and both of the young ladies was listening to me and they were like you know i spoke not some words into their life but they like they were so um captivated and it's like complete strangers but with that at the end of the conversation i told them i said you know what i don't even really come to this um this store i said but i felt led to come to this um this store and i said a lot of times you know i was asked god to order my steps and I don't know why I'm going somewhere and you know it could be simple you know like a deal or a board or something I I need to run across or it could be somebody I need to run into and they're speaking um they're like speaking mind or bless or whatever the Holy Spirit leads me to do so with that it um it, it led me to this week to think more about that because it's been really strong it's been happening so much I think something it appears I I you know saying I think about somebody they show up or you know what I'm saying I, I I I'm led to pick up this here and the um somebody that's needed or I look at something you know what I think I should buy this and I'm like no I'm just gonna wait and then some stranger walk up to me and say you know what um you should try this this is very good you know and like I said it's like been con constantly just like I mean I I got just in this last what week or two it's just been like really constant like not like one time a day but several times a day that is just like i you know i don't have all the answers but i know it makes me really um think like sometimes why is it so much stronger than other times like okay god what are you showing me here what is the holy spirit trying to teach me here so it leads me to my bible verse which is john 16 13 from the niv and it says but when he the spirit of truth comes he will guide you into all the truth he would not speak on his own. He would speak only what he hears. And he would tell you what is yet to come. Again, John 16, 13, NIV. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He would not speak on his own. He would speak only what he hears. And he would tell you what is yet to come. And so with that verse, I'm going to um, focus on um, this verse this um, this week and try to grow in this um, area and just ask the Holy Spirit to reveal, to, to reveal like the increase of having this to happen in my, uh, my life. And, you know, why at times it's so much, you know, stronger and like it's like constant. And then, you know, other times it's like, you know, it happened, but not like three or four times a day or a week or however. And I say it can be something I'm questioning my mind and a complete stranger walk up and answer the question, you know, or or point me into the right di direction. And it, and it may not be anything that's like life threatening or, you know, life saving, but it's like important to um to um to me, you know. And so I know I like, for example, I was in the um, store, I was looking at some chicken and I was like, OK know which one I should try and I said I don't know and I picked up the um, chicken I said I'm gonna just get this one and I put it in my um, car a guy that wasn't even the same like across from me I didn't know he looked at me he said ma'am and I, was, I looked up at him and he was like the hot ones are better he said I didn't try them at all and you can't beat the hot ones I looked at him I said okay thank you and I was like, the hot ones I'm going to get, you know. So I put the other ones back and I got the hot ones. And it was just interesting because he wasn't even like right there by me. But he felt led to tell me, I guess he saw me put them in my, 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 um, my cart. And he yells over to tell me, you know, just 
you know, that he had no idea in my mind. was something like, which one's the bad? I never even know a child. Which one I should get? But I was just looking and I, I got them. And then I, like, example, I was looking at some, another product and I walked past. I said, I should get some of those. I said, no, I'm not going to get it. You know, and whatever. I'm not going to, not, not, not anything that I need. When I walked past it, the lady that worked there walked up to me, all the people in the store. And she asked me, you know, I'm about to price. She's older, not for like $2. She said, they don't sell for $2. You, you, you should probably should grab some. I'm like, okay. So what I'm saying is that God knows what we're thinking. He knows what goes on in our mind. And with that, he uses his Holy Spirit to help guide us. And so I want to grow and been, been able to be guided, you know, to be able to not miss it, to be able to understand more why this, you know, why this is occurring, why sometimes it's so much stronger you know, right so much stronger at times. And is it something that, you know, I'm supposed to, you know, be growing in to do or whatever. But I know God has a way to teach us. And I know it's all, on this journey, it's all about teaching and growing. And sometimes, you know, you just have to live and live life. And God will have you to grow and get a better understanding as you go through it. It's nothing like going through some hands-on training. So sometimes I feel like that's what it is, hands-on training. So let the Holy Spirit be a guide in your life. And that's what I want to to um, basically say. Let him guide you. And he will guide you on things that you may not even, you know, see as being all that important as what flavor of wings you should buy or, you know, what kind of wings you should get or should you get this item and then you don't realize the item is on sale and it's that dirt cheap because they have no sign up, but the person that worked there knows this and they just want to tell, you know, they tell you for whatever reason. They walk up to you in the store and, tell, you know, tell you. But like I said, it's been really strong and I'm just kind of excited and I want God to manifest in my life however he see fit. So I want to grow, on the, um, grow and I'm going to use this verse this week to, to focus on. And so, and let God manifest himself in my life however he sees fit and i'm gonna pray father i come to you standing on john 16 13 in your word it says but when he the spirit of truth comes he will guide you into all the truth he will not speak on his own he will speak only what he hears and he will tell you is you what is yet to come father thank you for so many things that you have shared with me so many things you have shared with me personally in my own life and the others that i'm connected to and some that i'm not connected to in any kind of way but father i thank you it's really been helping me to grow on this journey on this wall and may i continue to grow and be obedient to your word and to get a better understanding of what you trying to do in my life so father i thank you i love you and may i be the brightest light that i can be Thank you for sending your son, Jesus. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, and thank you for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And so with that, let the Holy Spirit guide you. And some stuff, you know, we just have to live it. You know, it's, you know, people can, I like they have all the answers, and they know how to do this, 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 and that. But I know I don't have all the answers. And this is, like I said, this is, um, this is like on-the-job training. I am learning as I as I go, but it's, I mean, I know it always keep you thinking, keeps me thinking. So I want the Holy Spirit to continue to show up and show up in my life and, you know, give me, um, a, you know, a better understanding, you know, an understanding of the things of God and the um things like this that happen and things of how, you know, knowing stuff before it happens or, you know, how it, you know, like why it sometimes it's so much stronger than other times, you know. And I mean, I understand like a little bit, you know, better when it comes to dreams and stuff, you know, but then when you're wide awake and things come to you and you don't know, like, okay, you know, but it's, I don't know, it's, it's, I don't know, it's all interesting. So I want God to continue to, to blow my socks off and may I continue to grow and you do the same thing. And if it's not your verse this week, pick a verse and grow on, just grow, grow with God's word. You want God to show up and show up in your life. You know, it doesn't have to be this scripture that I'm using, but use some scripture. Don't just like live life and, and say, well, it doesn't work. This stuff with God doesn't work. Da, da. Do your part. Study God's word. You hear me say every week. And you, that's and what I'm telling you is what I am doing. I mean, I'm telling you to read your Bible, walk in obedience, and pray. And that's what I, I aim to do. I do my best. I'm not perfect at it. But I Lord knows that I, you know, I desire, I desire to grow and be the vessel he needs me to be. 
If you came across this video and you do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you have to do is repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And if you do have a relationship, all you have to do is continue to grow, grow, grow. Be the brightest light you can be. Read your Bible, walk in obedience, and pray, pray, pray. Talk to God as much as you possibly can. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. It is a learning journey. And as you grow and as you go, you will learn. And you will learn and you will learn. And it's a very interesting and exciting journey. So just keep being the brightest light that you can be. And let your light get brighter and brighter. Again, read your Bible, walk in obedience, and pray, pray, pray. I'm Dr. Lee. Thanks for watching. Let go. Let God in. Keep it moving. Take care.